Hey guys, Eat of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making large wall sconces using plates from Party City. I'm using these particular plates because the shape that it has at the back is perfect for what I want to use it for. I'm going to be holding all the plates together with zip ties. I'll pass the zip ties through holes that I'll be making on the plates using a soldering iron. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. If you're not comfortable using a soldering iron, please ask for help. When I was done with this, I kept it aside and started putting together the LED lights that I'm going to be using for the project. And this is so bright and it comes six in a pack. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and connect the lights to the ports that I have here. And then after that, they're going to be attached to the plates. If you want to use a remote for the lighting, you're going to have to add this LED controller that comes in the pack with it. You can use the remote when you're close to the lighting or even as far as eight feet away from the lighting. 
lighting comes with its own adhesive tabs and that's what I'm going to be using to attach them to the plates. I'll use duct tape to hold down the wires neatly. These are napkin rings that I got from Party City and I'm going to glue them to the top of the lighting because it's going to be facing the wall and I need a little bit of gap between the wall and the lighting. Because of the napkin rings that I put around all the other plates, the one in the middle is kind of low so I'm going to add a little bit of foam board to increase the height. I'm going to go around again with a strong adhesive to give me a much stronger hold. The plates are transparent, so if you look at it from the back, you can see all the wires and everything that's going on there. So I'm going to cut contact paper, a golden contact paper, that I'm going to be attaching there to cover up all the wires. This is not strong the way it is, so I'm going to have to put something at the back to keep it stronger and I'm going to make marks with a nail polish before putting it on a foam board and tracing out the shape that I want and cutting it out and then attaching it to the plates. I'm going to be making two wall sconces so I cut two pieces of what I just made and then at the back I'm going to fortify it using wood and these are paint stairs that I got from Lowe's. I attached a little round board that has been covered with contact paper at the front and then I attached a hook for hanging at the back. I made deep grooves on the shape of the napkin rings that I already had and used hot glue on it and then firmly pressed down the design to it. Here's what the wall scones looks like when it's mounted on the wall. And this is what it looks like with the lights on. This is just one of the DIYs that I am working on in a friend's place. I'm going to be posting more of those DIYs and keeping you guys updated. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.